What's up guys, this is the Rofman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my own Pyto War Let's Play as the Italian States. So to pick off where we left off, this force has finally moved south in Sweden to hit this Republican Russian force that's been running around mauling our territory. So let's destroy them. So I think in general I'm pretty happy with how the Italian campaign is going. I've got my... The advantage I have in northern Russia is pretty stark. Um, I think I would be wise to capitalize on that. Because if I can push around to the... If I can capture the north and then swing south, that means when I create my... When I start to reach the Caucasus region, I will have a more coherent front line with the Ottomans. So let's unlimber my howitzers. Well, un unlimber one set of guns. Get some line infantry in the center. Drop another. Ah, oh, that's, that's the same set of guns. And I've picked up all of them now. There we go. <clears throat> then you guys deploy there. Quite an elite set of flank companies this time. Marines and Guardsmen for days. There we go. And I've got pikes, which I'm going to drop behind one of my guns. I've got howitzers. And they can just fire quick climb right off the bat. So let's cluster some cavalry together on both flanks. Ooh. That's not what I wanted to happen. Let's put my these units on this flank. Okay, in which case then. Okay. Yeah, that's what, okay. That's what I was. That's okay. I don't know why I managed to, how I managed to confuse myself there, but nevertheless, let's regroup. That unit, or that flank, let's regroup that flank. Open fire. So we are going to want to chase down... We are going to want to chase down the uh, the Russians here. A lot of... Can our guys hit them with... Oh no, they're quick climbing these forward units, that makes sense. We've got a regiment of horse on the right flank and a regiment of dragoons, so this flank is a... Well, I don't know, I've got my heavy cavalry. If I keep my infantry here, that might act as a bit of a magnet to draw them in. So my field artillery is focusing on their guns. My howitzers are obviously quick climbing the bejesus out of particularly this poor unit. The 82nd, hunkered down behind their wall. And, of course, these cavalry. My gunners are still doing good work. Might even... No, shrapnel shot doesn't reach. They're marching up. So in this flank I do have my hussars and heavies. Let's get ready. They can take a salvo from the 33rd Foot Guards. Their left flank position is static. You guys form square, because that'll probably be the end of that cavalry unit. They really went wide. But the question is... Yeah, there we go. They're, they're ping-ponging between the squares. And that's not going to go well for them. Who's that? Okay, I think soon the time has come to advance. Advance. 
too, at least on the right flank anyway. So let's get our howitzers to focus more on a, a bit more uh, close support against for the right flank particularly. And the cavalry still hunker down nice and still. 482nd. Okay, these men are gonna run. Let's risk directing some shrapnel shot onto those. Maybe the 23rd regiment instead. Actually, no, it is safe to hit the 63rd. The shrapnel will go high above the heads of the marines. Near miss. You know, he killed one. Another two shots. Direct hit, sir. Let's run that flank up. Get my cavalry out ready on the flank. We do have 4th Regiment back here, so maybe this howitzer can hit the militia. That, the gun team, drop some shots onto the 4th Regiment. Okay, let's push up these troops as well. Right, make sure wait, wait wait until these guys have all fired. So when this rear rank fires, push right up onto the flank. They're focusing my pikemen. Hey, they are on the move. And they're winning, they they're winning decisively. It does. There we go. The idea is if I can get my men up on the flank, they'll do some really good damage. To be honest, I should probably just shoot these guys with my artillery provide a bit more support. There we go. The Cossacks have the Cossacks have activated. My infantry is going to teach them what for. Quick clones come in and hit them. There we go. So you men advance. Artillery is still coming in, so let's retarget you against the 23rd. And to be honest, that's, a, that's an exquisite quick climb shot. Here comes their melee infantry. Here comes their uh, push. There we go. You try and hit them. These men are too far to the rear to do anything, so you guys pivot left to fire into that mass of troops moving up. My elites on this flank have done a good job. Push up to threaten the square, not pushing my cavalry in. Square, square. Commit my heavy cavalry, because that means they've got... Ah. Pikemen, move up. Danger close quick climb, you gotta love it. Okay, you guys have gotta push up against that unit. So let's send my Hussar straight away to try chase down some of these routing Russians. Let's get my heavy cavalry around the flank to try and get that infantry to pivot. <clears throat> In comes the pikemen. The militia are routed. The cavalry are not long for this world, so let's repivot this line. You engage the 8th regiment. My heavy cavalry I left standing still like a loon. Hey, he hidden blunderbuss shotgunners. Hmm. 
The dragoons are on the on the run. Push these troops up to the new fence line, although it looks like there's a bit of a general route in all directions. So I had to charge my heavy cavalry in just to do something. Ideally we want to push up with this wing to provide them with some support. Charge my pikes into the gen my gen into their general because it looks like they're using him. Okay, so you guys are gonna hit the Bajeski Regiment of Foot. That how it's back here, aim at the fourth regiment. These units not being engaged can move up. Pikes will take care of that general's bodyguard pretty easy. Get these marines into the combat. This gun team aim at the 22nd. There we go, so they've knocked out the shotgunners, but they're not what I want, so I want to kill some of the more elite infantry. Let's get these sets of guns firing round shot, bombard the 22nd. This infantry in the centre push up. We've well, killed their general, so I doubt he's coming back anytime soon. General's bodyguard charge out, charge down some infantry. Yeah, fair enough. I did leave them a bit isolated. Let's get one unit to chase down that gun team. Switch everyone on back to round shot. Yeah, this horse. Uh, horse artillery team is the last remaining unit on the field for the Russians, and they've been hit by my guardsmen. Damn right, we're going to continue. These are marauders. Okay, it's too bad we've lost a good chunk of our. We lost another unit of our cavalry. Maybe charge after the 23rd, because they're all they're roughly all together. These guys are all, from routing through the town, they've all kind of spread out. Actually, no, that's they're already being hit. Charge the 82nd. Yeah, my general can do some good damage to the 8th. Okay, let's speed it up. Maximum speed. Uh, Hussars. General. To be honest, it's probably easy just to just pick one. Keep right clicking <laughs> to reset the logic, I guess. Okay, you're after the 82nd, so in due time, they will be annihilated. You can hit the 22nd, although they are spread over a wide area. Let's just stop my guns from firing. Come on, Hussars, you've done a great job at narrowing... At, at, at chasing these chaps down and thinning their numbers. Ah, oh, come on. Ah, nuts. But still, it was a good victory, and it uh, likely caused significant damage to their army. Oh boy, it has. They haven't got. They've got 759 men remaining. That's pretty devastating. Okay, so let's use the emergency garrison I was recruiting at Norway, chase them down, and deliver the killing blow. There you go. You men replenish and get back to Norway. Um. Okay, so I've got this fleet here. I want to embark Simon Andrizi. 
The question is, where do I drop him? I mean, this we don't really need more troops here. Because this area is quite well protected. We're blitzing through the countryside to the north. We've got lots of troops remaining in the remaining in the south. You go over and join them. Still got Bavaria to contend with, so I might send you over to here. No, don't cross their territory. I want to go here so that when I inevitably declare war on Bavaria, they can cover this crossing and prevent them from breaking out northward into my territories. Let's upgrade a handful of these churches. So we need to make them good Catholic territories. Let's exempt you from tax. These armies at Sardinia still replenishing. Siamo so they'll be ready to hit Corsica and knock them out. At the same time we fight the Bavarians, but for now... Yeah, run these Dragoons up to this army as well. But yeah, you can see there's a large concentration of troops here. I want to push through the north to help throw them off balance. Crimea, I'm probably going to have to exempt from tax. The question is, do I push them east to get somewhere like Cherkask, or do I push these guys... I mean, it's, they've got to push them towards Kiev to help support this push, right? I think I do. So first, let's raid that university. Push on towards the Palatial State, and then we'll move on Ukraine. Those guys will need to be engaged by Niccolo Luzato to help clear out clear out the southern approach or the western approaches you guys aren't going to move because you're currently commanding that pass you guys have taken Comey pretty well we can get these ships up together and try to get them back to Europe because we do need a number of ships to be recruited to fill up our spare our empty ports. So you may land in Kronstadt with the idea being this is our our long shot. Send you to push on towards Moscow. Then down here in the America, in, in Egypt, we are still. I want to recruit this army into a full army before anything gets. before we start rolling. So they're recruiting heavy household cavalry and two elite infantry. And this army has. Okay, household cavalry, two elite infantry. You, could, you want skirmishers slash interesting infantry. Really? Most of our good infantry we can't actually get. Let's get some skirmishes. And let's get a unit of African infantry guards. There we go. Then this army can hit this force that's been sat here for the longest time. It's a tiny army and that's not the point. The point is I want to have a strong force here so I've got three armies ready to spar against these Ottomans and then I can actually make some quite good progress towards Jerusalem. Um, but the first thing I want to do is probably fight some of these actions here. So let's take... if I take you Okay, if I auto resolve that, it shouldn't we shouldn't lose too many men. And the ones we do lose are already being depleted anyway. Although I did deplete the army pushing Corland. Oh no, they were already depleted. Ah, it was this force I depleted. Attacking Vilnius. Okay, well you can see you can stay sieging Vilnius. You guys we're gonna go take the territory of Yelgava. 
So the one that's the army that was attacking uh, Vilnius, they're going to hunker down and maintain the siege while their units are uh, being replenished. Because you really don't want to launch an attack with depleted troops. You really don't want to do that. It's a bad idea. Okay. Again, my crazy, crazy bugged out artillery team. And my other normal artillery team. There we go, something like that. The main thing to be aware of is we are they're being reinforced from some from uh, the next city back. So we need to be careful about how we Well, we need to be ready to spin around and face another direction immediately because we know what the AI is like. Let's bring the general into the cavalry fight as well. There we go, and Ah, they're all actually coming in. They're coming in from a, a good direction. So let's pivot. Let's commit our cavalry. I mean, to be honest, you guys could be shrapnel shotting like mad right now because they are coming in from. A long way off. Okay, so enemy reinforcements coming in from back there, so then our left flank, our right flank, sorry, can angle in. Our other cavalry ignore that fight. Oh, our. Vissars have got enough to deal with that. Okay, switch my... Oh, I've got to switch them to canister shot, but that hasn't... doesn't seem necessary. Again, looks like we're getting a bit of sound bugs. Creeping in, so here comes the light. The ninth regiment of dragoons charging up. They're going to get shot to bits by my by my guns. Okay, this flanking unit can actually begin to push up. There we go, they're shattered, so bring my hussars back up. Let's commit my cavalry into this fight. I think those dragoons shot a bunch of the hussars, which is why they're so upset. Guns way at the back, just going to switch to round shot and bombard the troops right at the back that are entering the field. They are not needed to defeat the army on the ground. Let's throw some of our cavalry into the mix. The Light Dragoons have fallen. These guys are going to push up past the cavalry combat. So they don't get... Oh, their cavalry is... Their artillery is... Getting into position. I'm going to charge that Siberian Hunter unit because it's just... Light cavalry. 
light infantry, sorry. You men pivot to fight the Bohemian Grenzers. These forward companies move up. My heavy horse artillery is bombarding. Some of these gunners to the rear. There's a lot of infantry in these trees. Generals managed to escape, but that's okay. Uh, it's just militia, I don't care about killing that. Okay, Regiment of Horse, fall back. There's easier prey. Now they broke, fair enough. Let's recall our cavalry. The force in the centre of the map has fallen. So now let's bring our troops up to somewhere a bit more effective. Howitzers are going to become round fire, round shot firers. And they're all going to aim at the 89th. Excellent shot, sir. Okay, so these men on the flank are going to push up to get within range of the 89th to slow them down to allow the our main elements to advance through the woods. I mean, the 126th are not aware of what's ahead of them. You can just about make out marching Russians in the distance. There's the 127th. Fine, fellows. There they are. So these, as these Russians march forward, they march forward with the knowledge, knowledge that there are Italians to their front in the, ahead of them, and they are... Oh god, they're making ready. There you go, as the shots come flying in, cavalry sat up on the hill behind them. Yep, they can't march into that deluge of fire. Now, okay, so having killed the men, the cavalry have been committed. So fight will off, these men will reload as the cavalry filter through their ranks. men fight those militia on the flank. Field artillery start to engage this formation at the rear because right now our our infantry is on a sterling job. My howitzers, to be honest, fire it well and nimber up. Gunners have to move, my cavalry have to move back as I move up my infantry to begin to clear out that square formation. You're doing a real number on the 19th regiment. Let's turn you guys, make you guys fire it all off. Fusiliers have been hit. That leaves the route clear for the general's bodyguard to try and do some good work. The last house on the hill has been destroyed. Bring forward the regiment of horse. 
few men cut down some of the Cossacks before they have a chance to reform. Because there are lots of them. Excellent stuff. You men. Damn right we're going to continue. You men hit the Siberian Hunters. Okay, speed up time. Our artillery needs to stop firing. Those heavy horse teams are... They are superb. Their accuracy is... Oh, they're just fantastic. Fantastic artillery units. And they're something you always want if you see the enemy bringing them into battle, you definitely, definitely want to kill them. Definitely do not want to let them get away with those. Oh, okay, it's just the Fusiliers left. Uh, this unit will be... What, where'd they go? Aha! Okay, let's actually make sure we bring a bit more cavalry into this into this just just in case things get a bit messy so that the cart some barrels of stuff some lengths of timber some dead fusiliers one last fusilier there he goes that is Yelgarva secured and I think it's Riga which is just over the river they've been their garrison has been significantly damaged but we have to bear in mind we do have a large number of enemy troops there. So potentially this army that's just captured a fort is going to push up to your gar there. You're going to push up to... I don't know, maybe to Astrakhan. Right now I have no visibility on what's going on in so many parts of the country. But we've captured your gar there. E-man are repairing. They hate us, understandably. Konigsberg, eh, they are, yeah, they're, they're priests uh, at work trying to sow discord behind our lines, but that's not likely to win out. Good old Baldessari. Okay, I don't want to push any more here, because I don't know what these guys are going to do. They might just come around and immediately attack us. Let's get up some walls. So you guys are hunkering down. You guys don't really have any movement, but you're going to push into the woods. Mario, Torricelli. You can try and head towards Minsk, I suppose. Obviously, Breslau have got a little splinter force here recruited. And... <laughs> Fabrizio, oh, actually, I might steal your steal two of your heavy cavalry and two of your twenty-four pounders. Join the force at Breslau. In terms of tech, things are going pretty well. We've got Sevilla is researching top gallants, which I may or may not want them to do in future, especially when in two turns Verona is about to finish percussion shells. Although we, they might then go on to percussion cap. Okay, let's hit in turn. As our spies continue to advance. Gotta be careful about Britain. They could cause they in the Americas, they could cause some frustrations for us. And soon we'll be on a bit of an offensive in the Middle East and start chipping away at Ottoman power. Hopefully by then we'll be up into Syria. They'll have they'll have committed some more of their stacks at Ankara towards the fight, and then our forces that have been fighting against Savoy will then be able to uh, land at Ankara and provide some threats from new directions. Yep, yeah, they sense the danger at to Petrovskaya. Large concentration of troops near Riga.
I mean, you guys can combine if you like, but ooh, that's providing reinforcements into the fight. Oh, the guys that ah, forgot about them. Yeah, Russians can raid all they like. They've now lost their warm water ports, or nearly all of them. They've still got some in Estonia. Yeah, you can send your priests forward as much as you like. He, they are not going to help you. So they reform the garrison at Riga. The Mughals are being the Mughals. Bavaria is feeling a bit twitchy. They know something's up. Let's see, I know we have war on the Mughals, and the Mughals own most of the Americas, but I really do want to focus on breaking the Russians first. Okay, so how many are you? Not many. You men come down to the Star Fort and get ready to intercept. Bring the guns with you. Okay, I should never have recruited those Albanians to join that skirmish force. I should really have looked where the hell Albania was. You join the men in the fort. They might do some raiding. They might go for Belgrade. So let's run my militia up here. Let's run this militia in here as well. I mean, you men at Istanbul, you can just continue to train. Not that you can recruit many cool units. I mean, I still want another heavy cavalry. I only get one engineer, one garrison guard. So you men put Kiev to under siege. You men continue your march towards Moscow. You men march. Hello, Russians. Bronislav Vekomov and Arthur Chimerikin. Ah, we'll take care of them. Nice concentration of troops around Petrovskaya. You men combine. Let us deploy these ships across the strait. So then these units can march in that direction and join up with the foot infantry. The secondary army being recruited here is nearly at full strength. Alonso Russo. Recruitment report, lots of good stuff. Servo vostro, signore. So we know we've lost. We're not going to get those skirmishes because they are from far off exotic lands. Did you get some Amazons? Yeah. Oh no, they're still. Take six turns to get over here. African light mercenaries, yeah, but they're. Yeah, we can get two. But say their accuracy isn't that great, and they've not. Hmm. We'll, we'll get some just in case. And you can probably do with getting a regiment of. Not a regiment of horse, because that'll take eight turns to get here. Just a colonial like have. Maybe we can get ready to bust through this section of the line. Be able to guy, you've still got all of pretty much all of the Egyptian ports under blockade. You men keep them in. Ah, no, not you guys. You guys keep them within touching distance. You men join up there. Cool. So it looks like they are gunning for a big fight near Vilnius. Let's push up within range, but not in full range, because this army is replenishing. New men push up through the woods from the south. I mean, I'm going to exempt Corlin from tax, because I don't want to deal with any rebellions. 
Well, they're going to hate us anyway, so I'm not going to be overly bothered. Okay, you guys fix the Subadar's Palace. You haven't done anything over here in the Americas, really. So workers on strike in Crimea, not anymore. So you can see some recruitment of those Dragoons. Workers on strike in Courland. Still spying. Okay, let's build church school back here. Komi. You men march towards Kazan. And then back here at Komi. We're going to recruit a small force to go down to Ufa to occupy it. So you do want to get down to this tri-state area here. Maintain the conversion of the people. Okay, Njolsk, you are being converted. Good, but we're going to want to set up and do some fighting. and I'll probably be down here. So I don't want to boot these guys out of the out of the dock because that will trigger them to fight and I don't want them to do anything that might threaten this navy. Let's build you guys up to a church school. Okay, first of all, let's take you and hit Ukraine. Hit Kiev, rather. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to win the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And we'll see you next time for the assault on the city of Kiev. Cheers, everyone. Mm -hmm.